Can you smooth out concrete after it dries? If you're dealing with rough, uneven concrete surfaces and wondering if there's a way to smooth them out after they've dried, you're not alone. Many people face this issue, whether it's with their floors, driveways, or countertops. So let's get into the details. First, the good news. Yes, you can smooth out concrete after it dries, but it's more challenging than working with fresh concrete. Once concrete dries, it undergoes a curing process that makes it harder and less workable. However, there are several techniques you can use to achieve a smoother finish. One of the most common methods is surface grinding or sanding. You'll need specialized tools like a concrete grinder or a handheld power sander with diamond grit sanding pads. Start by cleaning the surface thoroughly to remove any dirt or debris that could interfere with the smoothing process. Use a broom, vacuum, or even a pressure washer if needed, but be careful not to use too much pressure. With your surface clean, begin grinding or sanding in small sections. Apply consistent pressure and move the tool back and forth, overlapping each pass slightly. Keep the grinder or sander level to ensure even results and periodically check the smoothness of the surface. Another method involves using a self-leveling compound, which is great for small areas with slight unevenness. This compound is a mixture of cement, water, and other additives that flow smoothly across the surface and dry to a smooth finish. Just follow the manufacturer's instructions for mixing and applying it. For larger projects or areas with deep imperfections, you can use an angle grinder with diamond-tipped blades. This method slices off thin layers of the concrete, leaving behind a smooth and level surface. However, it requires protective gear and careful attention to safety guidelines. Polishing is another effective technique that involves mechanically grinding, honing, and polishing the concrete. This process uses progressively finer grit diamond impregnated abrasive discs or pads to remove surface imperfections and create a smooth, shiny finish. Before you start any of these methods, it's crucial to wait until the concrete has completely cured. For residential projects, wait at least seven days, but for larger or more complex structures, you might need to wait longer. The curing time can vary depending on ambient temperature and humidity, so make sure to consider these factors. For optimal results and durability, it's generally recommended to wait at least 28 days before smoothing fully cured concrete. During this time, the concrete reaches its full strength and stability, enhancing its overall durability and longevity. So, whether you're a homeowner or a contractor, these techniques can help you achieve a smooth and visually appealing concrete surface. Just remember to be patient, follow the manufacturer's instructions, and take the necessary safety precautions to get the best results.